What is up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday to you all. Obviously, this is going up the day after, so I hope you had an amazing Sunday with all your families. It's currently quarter 12 in the afternoon right now, but we are getting ready to head out the door for work. Got a lot of stuff to get taken care of today, so it should be a pretty fun day. It is another absolutely gorgeous day out here as well. No clouds in the sky and just nothing but sun. I wish however though that it was a lot warmer because it is currently, according to the car, it is currently only 27 degrees outside. I wish that was probably like 30 degrees higher and I'd be happy. now and we have skipped past a ton of time obviously I am really really sorry that there has been so much skipping around today within the vlog I just came home and have just been relaxing and ate dinner and have been relaxing since dinner was over as well because my back just started hurting out of nowhere while I was at work today just from standing up for long periods of time and not really moving around like staying in one place like when I just stand in one position for a long time and I was a little bit hunched over too which was not a good idea at all my back just starts to ache and hurt I already took a couple ibuprofen and <laughs> nothing's working yet but hopefully after I get done editing the vlog and everything tonight a good night's sleep will take care of this but trying to get a few things done right now because it is almost at nine o'clock in the evening got to get everything done for work and then got to get some work done for Catholic 411 as I said and for YouTube but I have to be on the phone at 9 30 because as I said because as I said last Last week, Aaron and I have been saying the Divine Mercy Chapel just about every day. We did not say it last night because we were both really tired, and we did say our own prayers on our own, which is awesome, but we're trying to get into a habit of daily prayer this Lent, the both of us, so it's best that we do it together. We decided that it would be awesome if we just try to achieve this challenge during Lent together, and I think it's going to be really awesome, and I definitely think we'll be able to stick to it if we keep doing this. I've been feeling the vibe, I've been feeling complete Looking down at the ground like is it touching my feet? They want a piece of the pie, I'll be cool with some peace I got the wind in my face, sunshine on my cheek Nephew just turned one, he as cute as can be Can't wait to take him to Disney, whole trip's on me Taking flights from the city, yeah they know me at Lambert Never question myself, but still come up with the answers I've been taking off work, money starting to roll All this bread that we burn, that's why I make Literally just had the best night I could possibly have I got on the phone with Aaron at like 9.30 to say the Divine Mercy Chapel. We ended up praying more than just the Divine Mercy Chapel tonight, which is awesome. But we just got off the phone, and it's after midnight. We were just laughing so much after we got done praying. Tonight, we actually did prayer intentions for people because every Sunday night, Steve has a holy hour at like midnight, which I think is just absolutely amazing and crazy at the same time. You know, the fact that he's up at midnight and he's out at a church that they have a place 
that you can go into like a chapel and just have like an hour I guess to yourself I don't know how it works but he goes in and he prays for people and he asks if anybody has any prayers on social media so we decided to pray for those people as well tonight because he asked us to so the Liturgy of the Hours book that I have that I've shown in the vlog before which is this book right here if I can actually get it out this book right here has prayers in it for a prayer before you say the intentions with a response to those intentions and then a prayer to close out those intentions as well as part of the ending of the day prayers eventually I'm gonna learn how to say the little eventually I'm gonna learn how to say the liturgy of the hours but I really love this book because it really helps so much tonight but we prayed that then we sang the Divine Mercy Chaplet and then we just sat and talked about stuff talked about just things that have been going on in our lives lately and then at some point when Steve finally woke up tonight because he sort of like takes a little bit of a nap before his holy hour on Sunday we decided to add him into a call because on an iPhone you can do conference call essentially and you can add up to six people per call and we just decided to end up calling him and the connection was absolutely horrible as it is right now this room with the connection sucks so much so when I split up the call between me Aaron and Steve it just got ten times worse Aaron could hear me but Steve really couldn't so the best part about all of this is now Aaron and I have nicknames from the prayer partners and Aaron told me to put this in the vlog because I wasn't going to but I'm like you know this is too funny not to put in the vlog now that I think about it but they now call me the fish or fishy because I literally apparently to Steve sounded like I was underwater because of how bad my connection is in this room sometimes and Aaron is the interpreter because she was able to understand what I was saying to Steve and basically repeat what I just said back to Steve so he knew exactly what I was trying to say to him <laughs> just like of course the funny thing is one of the other prayer partners I uh, wanted to give nicknames to Aaron and I and she couldn't think of anything really and she was working on coming up with nicknames and all of a sudden out of the blue she's not even on the phone with us this other prayer partner and <laughs> she has her nicknames for us now <laughs> Still got the green lights going from St. Patrick's Day yesterday from when I had to make that emergency vlog intro. Yeah, I have not changed them yet, so let's do that right now. I think that's pretty good. Still really pumped up from the call tonight, you know, just all the giggles, all of the fun that we had on the call, but then also being able to sit down and just talk about struggles and get things off of our chest. Like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've gone through over the last, like, six months that I have not really been confident enough to share with the vlog, and eventually in the future, I will end up sharing a lot of that stuff as I tell my own personal testimony of my faith more in depth. But as a part of those struggles, we started talking about the Heart as Nails mission program again tonight and thinking about the come and see in May which is basically a weekend event where I get to go up to Syracuse and I get to see what Hard as Nails is like and what it's all about. I really am considering it. I'm going to be continuing to pray about it and if it's what God wants me to do I will definitely be up there in May and hopefully if I apply it'll, if it's God's will I will be accepted to the missionary program which starts in August I'm pretty sure. Along with that I also was able to figure out the vlogging schedule tonight with Aaron's help if I were to get accepted. What would end up happening now is I would end up doing weekly vlog, which would suck in a way, but it would be good because I would still be able to upload as long as they would allow me to have the camera all the time. It would keep my laptop back at the center all the time, or I would probably have the laptop on the road with me just to be safe. But I would not have to edit every single night, and I could literally film four minutes of footage a day and then upload either on Saturday or Sunday or whenever I get a chance throughout the week for each video. And then as a part of the schedule because they go on tours around the country with Hard as Nails and usually they're two week tours I would end up filming over a period of two weeks and then I would end up posting the vlog from the tour when I got back to the Hard as Nails Center in Syracuse and that's just how it would have to be for a year long period but again it's all in God's timing if it's his will things will fall into place but that is going to wrap it up for today's video guys I'm trying to stay quiet because everybody is asleep in this house and I just got shushed a few minutes ago. <laughs> I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos. I hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so decide to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome. 
keep smiling. You're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I think I'm falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side, chick. Now I really wanna kick it. I get it, but it's time.